Hello, YouTube. This week's topic is sexuality. I've made a video about this before on my personal channel back in the day. In honor of that video, I am wearing the same shirt that I wore in it. So I could have sworn that it was someone on this channel who said this, but I watched all the videos and I couldn't find it, so someone on YouTube used this word to describe their sexuality, and I think it fits perfectly. They said that their sexuality meandered, and I think that's a great word. It just makes me think of my, like, sexuality being lost in a forest a little bit. I mean, what is the definition of meandering? We can find this out, you guys. Okay, the definition of meander is a winding curve or bend of a river or road, as in, the river flows in sweeping meanders. My sexuality flows in sweeping meanders. It flows in a river, like a river full of water, like fluid. So sexuality meanders because sexuality is fluid. But don't get that confused with other fluids, like water or a juice, because you can drink those, but you can't drink sexuality. I don't think you can drink sexuality. Then again, if we did want to talk about how sexuality is fluid in terms of fluid-like drinks, we could do that. It would make sense. Sexuality. There are so many different sexualities. Lesbian, gay, queer, pansexual, gender, fuck you. Imagine all the different sexualities as drinks. You know, straight could be water because it's boring. I'm kidding, being straight isn't boring. It's just, just another sexuality in our pool of sexualities. Pool, like fluids. And maybe lesbian is like iced tea, and maybe gay male is like apple teenies. That would make sense. And you have all the different kinds of sodas. And I don't know, if, if you were like me when you'd go up to the soda machine at like a fast food restaurant, you kind of just take your cup and press every single soda and mix it all together and it would just like look like shit in there and it would kind of taste weird because it's a weird drink. But that is totally the most attractive, mixing the drinks, M mixing those fluids. That is my sexuality, kind of. I like mixing the drinks. You guys, I just love making up analogies so much that I'm just gonna stop before I talk for like a thousand years about drinks and how they represent people. I really wanna meet the person who like embodies the monster energy drink. Wouldn't that be a cool person to meet? They'd be like bouncing off the walls. Anyway, we are going to look at some footage from my sexuality video that I made way the hell a long time ago. You can listen to my cute little voice. So I'm gonna play a clip, then I'm gonna comment on it. Hello, YouTube. Adorable, right? That was like back when I didn't know how to look into the camera and I just like stare at myself right there all awkwardly like you guys didn't exist, but now I look at you right into your eyes. Like I knew that I liked guys before I knew that I liked girls. In fact, I came out as liking girls before I knew that I liked girls just so I could have an excuse to look more like a guy. So I had this issue with separating sexual orientation and gender expression. I, I thought that they had to match. And if I was boyish looking, then I had to have a boyish orientation, and boyish is liking girls. When people first started putting that label on me, like lesbian, I figured that was enough to explain my gender expression. Or not really to explain, but to justify it. So if someone was like, wow, why do you dress like a guy? Well, I like girls, so. Dressing like a guy makes sense, right? Because guys like girls, girls like guys, I look like a guy, girls will like me, I will like girls. Now, I never denied liking guys, but people never assumed that I liked guys, so I, it didn't come up. When people asked me, I was like, yeah, I like both. More than both. I like everything, especially in between. All the sodas. I, I have that I'm bisexual on my Facebook page. You guys, my sexuality was Facebook official, and could you hear, like, how distraught I was? How my voice was like... My my bisexuality is Facebook official. It's on Facebook and people just don't get it. It says right there that I am interested in men and women and no one seems to ever look there. I want them to. It's right there. It's there for them to look at. So even after I got over that problem of associating, you know, sexual orientation with gender expression, gender identity, even after I got over that and I was like, all right, this is how I look, but I can still like men and women and I was okay, other people still wouldn't even think that it's possible that I liked more than one because when I was perceived as a female it was I was so obviously presenting this masculine gender identity that people are like no woman who looks like that would be interested in another man and then once I did all the hormone shit and now I'm how I am now and I'm 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 very expressive and smiley and I don't know people were reading me as gay and they're like it's because I'm hanging out with a lot of gay men, too, and they just, they, they take what they know about you, what you do, your mannerisms, your behaviors, your gender expression, and they just find a sexuality for you, and they assume something. And what I want 
is for them to assume that I have no preference. That's what everyone's assumption should be. If you're gonna assume something, assume that they have no preference. Since I want to live all stealth and everything, I don't want people, I don't want to get sexually involved with somebody. So, I guess, since I'm not going to do anything with anyone anyway, I shouldn't be worrying about this that much. So, as you can see, I was a little discouraged by this very binary and rigid set of rules they put on gender and sexuality. Because of my gender and how non-normative it was, I didn't think anyone would like me, and because of how rigid I thought other people's sexuality was towards this non-normative gender, I, I thought that I'd be undesirable, just not wanting to deal with telling people, assuming that they're not open to these things. It's so bullshitty. It's all a social construct. Buzzwords, yay! So I was just like, I don't need to worry about sexuality. No one's gonna have sex with me. I'm not gonna be with anyone. I have to be stealth. No one can know about me because then they won't like me anyway, so why even come out to them anyway? There are people who like us, okay? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of people who like us. So on the topic of sexuality, if you're worried about other people's sexualities and how that will affect your chances of ever finding anyone, you're gonna find someone because sexuality is not as rigid as people try and make it out to be. I mean, there I was trying to follow all these rules, and obviously, I'm, I'm breaking the rules. And a lot of people are trying to follow the rules, but if they find a reason to break them, maybe it's you, maybe you come to them and you're all like, look at me, and I'm all trans and everything, and they're like, I kind of like that. You can't trust someone when they tell you that they're, they're attracted to this type of person. And when someone thinks they're only attracted to one type of person, they can't trust themselves because sexuality is just going to go and, you know, meander through the forest and the road and the river, and just people are going to fall in love. Ooh, it's a love story. Moral of the story, act the way you want, like who you like, don't limit yourself, and maybe have more faith in other people. I'm gonna leave it at that because it's getting super long, I think. But here's a treat for those of you who have made it to the end of this video. Next, no, this week, on Saturday, Izzy's video, you're, you're in for a surprise because I, I, might, I might be invading that video because I'm going to Canada. I'm gonna be in Izzy's house, you guys. Are you jealous? I'd be jealous. I'd be jealous of me, but I am me. I'm not jealous, because I'm me. Ah, see you next Thursday. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube.